What's up guys? Welcome back to another shed hunting video. Of course, I'm back out here looking for elk sheds. A new day, a new spot, a new opportunity, but so far so good. We're seeing a lot of elk sign. Check this out. There has been a lot of elk through here. Definitely been living here. There's some pretty fresh tracks, a lot of droppings, and a lot of good feed, surprisingly. Didn't really look this brushy on the uh, satellite imagery. But yeah, we're, I'm feeling, I got high hopes. I walked in here quite a ways and it was really, really mellow until I got to like this sagebrush pocket. So it's getting better and better. With a little bit of luck, we'll find some elk sheds today. So I've already found my first brown set of the year. I found that with my buddy Martin. We went out together. Hope you guys are watching all the shed videos. We went out together. I found that brown set side by side and I'd like to find some more if I could. That's the goal today, but you know, I always love to find white sheds too. But yeah, like I said, this spot is looking really good. So it's pretty soon I'm sure we can find a shed. A lot of tracks like this, a lot of rubs too. Well guys, getting my day started a little late, but uh, that's not a big deal. I've already got one. Just started getting into elk tracks, kind of right here. You can see that big elk track, my boot track. And right up here, I just spotted my first shed and it's brown. Nice. Heck yeah, look, these are his tracks right here. <laughs> just tines down in the dirt. How cool is that? Yes, here's his tracks. Dang, was he bedded here? A lot of tracks around. I'm sure he was bedded or something. Whew, look at the blood on that. Dang, that is so sweet. All right, first shed of the day. And I've got his tracks, so I could probably walk around and try to find the other side good looking shed that's funny how it just plopped down into the ground like that nice it's a good one too sweet let's pick it up for the pickup <laughs> just a sweet bull probably about 320 nice brown there's still blood on the base hasn't shed long ago and I've got his tracks right here so I'm gonna backtrack him and then track him going forward and see if we can't find the other side but how cool is that look at the base too the base is just super bloody so you know that's a fresh one nice Man, I love these things. They smell so good. I could smell the dang thing already. Gotta love it. Nice brown. There's definitely a few more bulls in here, so we'll get after it and try to pick up some more. Definitely try to find the other side, but I'm stoked on that. It's a nice little hike and already rewarded for my hike. That's sweet. Let's go see what else we can turn up. Looks good on the pack. Just following this bull. This is the way he went after he shed. I'm hoping that was the first side. If it was, I should be able to find the other side just by following his tracks. I tried to backtrack him, but it got a little confusing after he bedded a couple times. So hopefully it's up this direction. <laughs> yes, just got another one. This is a left side. 
Oh, hopefully it's a match. I'd love to match this thing up and get it over with. Looks like it could be. Here's the tracks, here's a bed, and there's a shed. And I'd have to say that's, that is probably it right there. Holy cow, my pump to match that up. Now I can move on. I've been focused right here for a little while, really wanting to leave, uh, knowing this match has got to be somewhere close. And it's right there. I believe it's a match anyways. Let's get it off and check it out. Right and left, yeah. Sure looks like match. Really straight G1. Straight G1. Yeah, that's the match. Yes. Check this out. Got some blood on the base down in there. That's pretty cool. Here we go. Oh yeah. That's the other side for sure. These have not been laying here very long. sand in there there we go these set oh it feels good to match that thing up he went quite a ways away to be honest before dropping that other side that was the side he shed first and I followed tracks kind of got in with some other bulls I've just been staying on tracks and it paid off paid off with the match Nice little bull. Sweet. It's good to know that there's browns right up here. There's definitely a few more bulls to locate and see what we can find. But just a nice brown set. And I'll tell you what, like I said, I'm happy to match them up because I was starting to lose hope and really, I was really kind of wanting to move on. So there we go. It's one brown set. A few more to go. Time to uh, get serious, guys. Let me show you the new product we got from Mountain Ops. Well, you guys know that we're partnered with Mountain Ops. We uh, collaborated together on this new product. Well, it's a new flavor. It's their Mountain Ops Ignite. This is great for endurance, hydration, and exactly what I need. Give me a little boost of energy while I'm out here on this hike. So I've already hiked into this area. I'm going to take one packet, these are trail packs, of this Mountain Ops Lemonade. That's a new flavor and it is easily my best so far. Now I could probably go with two trail packs in this big of water, but I'm gonna do just one trail pack. Give me enough boost to really get some energy to get out of here. If you guys like lemonade, I think lemonade is just so, such a great drink for uh, quenching your thirst when you're really thirsty. This is for sale on their website, by the way, but I'm gonna take a swig of this, maybe eat a little bit of an apple, and uh, get after it again. Well, it's been a few hours since I found anything. There is uh, not many bulls hanging out here. I'm just kind of cruising uh, my way back to the truck. Looks nice. It's pretty awesome to have a brown set, though, so that's a win. I haven't cut a fresh elk track for a while just kind of been working through these junipers which honestly isn't my favorite i really prefer to get high in glass big deep canyons and steep soft slopes but i was wondering where the elk would be with all the snow this year there's some down here but like i said not many i think i'm gonna slowly zigzag through these junipers a little bit more and then just slowly start making my way back to the truck. So, carrying on, carrying on. <laughs> the glory of shed hunting, never knowing what you're gonna find or where. Well, I just walked over to this little ridge right here. It kind of drops off into another bench. Finally spotted one and been wondering how the heck have I not found a white shed antler? Got a white one right below me, let me show you. Right there. I'm gonna perch up here for a minute in glass, then I'll go snag it. Hmm. Looks an awful like 
a lot like the bull I just found. Heck, there's a good chance that this is the bull I picked up brown. That might be his last year white. So the other side's got to be in here somewhere. Maybe I'll poke around a little bit, look for it before I head back to the truck and check that out. Big old G1. There's some tracks in the sand there. Might have to give him a follow. Yeah, that might be him. This could be the, the bull I just picked up. Same looking frame, that's for sure. The same bladed out fat one. Nice round burr. We'll have to take them up to the pack and compare them, but that's my guess. Breaking the seal. God, that looks exactly like him. Bladed out one, really flat right here. Kind of creates a rim or a ridge. That's cool looking. All right. Been sitting out here in the sun. Still got a little bit of color there. Well, well, what do we have here? Looks like another year off him. Ooh, that matches up just perfect. I mean, third, first, second. Looks like I got two years off that same bull. How cool is that? I think that's pretty cool. So wheat, he didn't grow much. In fact, the back end may be a little smaller, especially on the main beam. But look at the burr shape. See how's that look? There's that little dent there, right here and right here. And then clearly, just looking at the frame is tail tail sign. So yeah, two years off that bull. Apparently that bull likes to hang out around here, come down here for winter, relax and not get bothered by anything. But I don't see the other side below me and I got to get going this way. So I'm going to make a loop around and try to find the other side that way. Hopefully, hopefully it's over there. Just working my way back to the truck now. Pretty much uh, giving up on sheds walking back and uh, we'll just take it easy and cruise this creek bottom and get back to the truck as soon as possible definitely left plenty early which is good i gave myself plenty of time to get back another hour and we're out of here then i'm probably heading home hopefully you guys will watch all the shed hunting videos if i find anything else i'll turn it on but for now guys that's the end of the video hope you enjoyed it finding elk sheds if you did, please subscribe. If you are new to the channel, welcome. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Probably be shed hunting.